Tangan. Ito po muli ang inyong kaibigan, si Attorney Ian Kenneth Bilucero. Welcome back po sa ating YouTube channel and you are watching Apo Shares. We are now on our 8th episode po of Making Learning a Monthly Habit through Apo Shares. Ito po yung DILG Cebu Province Online Knowledge Sharing Program on Local Governance. But uh, before anything else po, uh, allow me to thank the 1,060 subscribers on our YouTube channel. At maraming maraming salamat po sa pagsuporta po ninyo sa ating programa. Sa hindi pa po nakapag-subscribe, please do so po. Pwede din po kayong mag-comment and mag-suggest kung ano yung topic na kailangan pag-usapan natin sa susunod na mga episodes po natin. For this episode po, we will grant the request of one of our subscribers, si Mr. Paolo Saberon, about the discussion on Sanggunyan Kapataan. Kaya pag-usapan po natin dito yung, yung whether the Sanggunyan Panglungsod or Sanggunyan Bayan, as the case may be, may remove an escape chairperson from office without court intervention. At tamang-tama po dito, meron po tayong... Uh, bagong decision from Supreme Court which was promulgated on November 24, 2021. At dito, nagkaroon po ng administrative complaint against an escalator person. Ang grounds po ay yung failure to formulate and submit to the concerned officials yung comprehensive Barangay Youth Development Plan at yung annual Barangay Youth Investment Program. Pero ang sagot dito yung ng SK person ay sabi niya ang argumento po niya ay yung sabi niyang panglusod kasi doon po final yung administrative complaint. Sabi niya yung sabi niyang panglusod ay walang jurisdiction to hear, to investigate or discipline yung SK person. Sabi niya, dahil siya ay concurrently holding the position of SK, uh, as SK chairperson, as SK Federation President, and as ex-official member of the Sangunyan, dapat yung uh, removal niya must be governed by the local government code of 1991. So, she was referring to Section 60 of the local government code of 1991. Kaya pag-usapan natin ngayon yung decision ng korte sa issue na ito. Sabi po dito, prior to the enactment of RA 10742, yung SK Reform Act of 2015, the grounds and manner of suspending or removing an elected official, including the SK officials, were found in Section 60 of the Local Government Code of 1991. Yung section 60 na po yan, yan po yung mga grounds for disciplinary actions. Sabi po dyan, an elected local official may be disciplined, suspended, or removed from office on any of the following grounds. Pero, yung last paragraph ng section 60, sabi po dyan, an elected local official may be removed from office on the grounds enumerated yung sa section 60 on the grounds enumerated above by order of the proper court so yan po yung section 60 sa decision na ito sabi ng court however yung section 60 na yan ay dapat i-harmonize po with the repealing clause ng RA 10742 referring to Section 36. At sabi po dito, sa decision, while Section 60 of the Local Government Code of 1991 was not expressly mentioned in the repealing clause referring to Section 36 of R810742, sabi po dito, it is clear that the Congress intended to repeal intended to modify it to the extent applicable to SK officials to make it consistent with the provisions of the SK Reform Act of 2015. 
So, yan po. Kaya, in so far as SK officials are concerned, the provision in the local government code of 1991 mandating the intervention by the proper court before removing an elected official is now superseded by RA 10742 or the SK Reform Act of 2015. Kaya, following the enactment of the SK Reform Act in 2015, suspension and removal of SK officials may now be carried out by the concerned Sangunyan without court action. Saan po natin makikita po yan? Yung Section 18 na RA 10742. At dito, sinabi po dito, any elected official of the Sangunyan Kabataan po may, after due process, be suspended for not more than six months or removed from office by majority vote of all the members of the Sangunyang Bayan or Sangunyang Panglongsod which has jurisdiction in the barangay of the concerned Sangunyang Kabataan at magiging final and executive, executory po yan. So, ano yung mga grounds? Nandyan po, naka-enumerate po lahat sa Section 18 po yan. First, absence from the regular SK meetings without valid cause for two consecutive meetings or an accumulated absences of four days within a period of 12 months. Number two, yung failure of the SK chairperson to convene the regular assembly of the Katipunan ng Kabataan for two consecutive times. Number three, yung failure to convene the regular SK meetings for three consecutive times or months rather in the case of the SK person. Number four, ito yung grounds kanina, yung nag-file ng administrative complaint against an SK person, yung failure to formulate the comprehensive Barangay Youth Investment Plan, ay Barangay Youth Development Plan rather, and the annual Barangay Youth Investment Program or the approved uh, annual budget with the prescribed period of time without justifiable reason yung failure to approve the annual budget. Okay, number five, yung failure to implement programs and projects na nakalagay po sa annual barangay youth investment program without justifiable reason. Okay, then number six, yung four consecutive absences during the regular Sanguinian Barangay session kasi uh, of course without ba valid cause uh, that being an ex-officio member of the Sanguinian Barangay. Number seven, yung conviction by final judgment of a crime involving moral turpitude and violation of existing laws against graft and corruption and other civil service laws, rules and regulations. And last, uh, yung failure in the discharge of his or her duty or has committed abuse of authority. So, yan po yung uh, grounds. So, here, sabi ng Supreme Court, yung Section 18 na yan, no? it is clear that in R810742, the original jurisdiction to resolve administrative complaints on the basis of the enumerated grounds in Section 18 is vested in the concerned Sangunyan. Kaya dyan po makikita natin yung authority ng Sangunyang Bayan or Sangunyang Panglonso to discipline, to suspend, or remove an SK elected official. Kaya sabi ng Supreme Court, the concerned Sangunyan may remove from office an elected SK official based on any of the grounds enumerated in Section 18 RA 10742. Okay. So ngayon, pag-usapan din natin yung implication ngayon. Kasi dito, yung sagot kanina ng SK chairperson sa complaint ay isa siyang 
Sinabi niyang isa siyang SK Chairperson, isa po rin siyang SK Federation President at ex-official member of the Sangguniyan. Okay. So, ano ang implication ngayon yung removal niya as a scheduled person? Okay, sabi po ng Supreme Court, the removal of uh, the escheduled person no, necessarily resulted in his or her removal as the SK Federation President. At kung wala ka na as SK Federation President, Ibig sabihin, you will cease also as ex-official member of the Sangguniyan. So, yan po yung implication po. At uh, ito yung uh, authority ng Sangguniyan, bayan or Sangguniyan Panglunsod, to remove an SK chairperson po. Diyan po nagtatapos ang ating short discussion on whether the Sangguniang Bayan or Sangguniang Panglungsod may remove an SK person from office without court intervention pa. Kaya join me once again as we make learning a monthly habit through Apo Shares because the more we learn, the more we grow, and the more we grow, the better we can serve others pa. Hanggang sa susunod nating episode, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, and turn on the notification bell para updated po tayo palagi sa mga episodes po natin sa ating YouTube channel. Kaya maraming maraming salamat po at ingat po palagi.